Cheers from Japan. I'm the Tokyo Toy Bastard. I got a big old bag of Dragon Ball Keshi again. And this time, I think I've overdone it. I think this is probably the biggest junk bag of Dragon Ball Keshi I've ever purchased in my entire life. I don't know if it's easy to tell on this camera. This bag is massive and it weighs. I mean, this has got to weigh at least like 20 pounds. There's, there's hundreds of Dragon Ball figures in here, all the way full. Just packed, like, you know, this is packed, it's thick. It's like a thick, juicy hamburger of rubber. So I bought this at uh, Mandarake. I paid a hefty fee for it, but I saw some pieces in here that I believe made it worth the price. Some pieces that I needed for my collection, but pretty much anything that I don't need will be for sale, either through the Dragon Ball Vintage Collectors group that I run on Facebook, or through my Instagram. But yeah, there's gonna be a lot in here. So I'm gonna cut this open, dump it out. I might just kind of fiddle around with some bits and show you some things that I find are interesting. And then we'll cut to after I've sorted everything and I'll show you the best stuff in here. All right, let's get this mother <laughs> open. Glorious. Jesus. Okay, so this is this is a lot to go through. Um, first of all, I do see that there are some painted figures in here. We'll go ahead and pull those out. Got a little Super Saiyan 3 Goku down here. Uh, we've got some Shokugan figures of Vegito and Gogeta, which have the wrong torsos on the wrong bodies. These are from, oh, sorry, there's an airplane flying over. These are from the best of DBZ a Shokugan line. Came in little boxes with candies in the mid 90s. I have people looking for these occasionally, so these will be up for sale for sure. I did see this guy in there, which uh, if you follow my channel and you watched my video a few weeks ago or a couple weeks ago, I did an entire review of the majority of this line of figures. This is Full Metal Jacket, and this is a really nice Goku in flesh color with the uh, bronze armor. Uh, bronze yard rat uniform. The one I have is purple and gold, so this is one I might keep this variant for myself. We will see. Mm. Armored cross up raccoon. He's missing his scouter, but that could be in here somewhere. Also, some metal figures. I think I saw a few of these guys, but the little metal figures, these are also Gashapon uh, sold together with Keshi. Another metal one. Oh, there's some good stuff in here, but I'm gonna save that, save that all for later. Uh, oh, here we've got a bag of armor. Uh, I've got some black plastic armor and some metal armor and some purple armor. We'll see if uh, these go to any of the figures that are in here. I've also got a little bag of armor I've been kind of building in my personal collection just to kind of complete any figures eventually that I find missing scouters and armor. So hopefully we can complete a few figures. There's another metal one. Uh, that's a nice one. Nice Super Saiyan Goku. I also see lots of Brolies in here, which is great because a uh, friend of mine, Dimitri, in the Netherlands is a big Broly collector and he's looking for color variants of these Broly Keshi that he doesn't have and hopefully I can fill some of his gaps with the Brolies in here. Fingers crossed. There's also a bunch, a bunch of uh, translucent ones, which uh, I guess I'll lot these all together and show those towards the end, but the translucent ones are actually a bit more expensive and rare, and it looks like there's quite a bunch in here, so that's excellent to see. Here's another uh, pretty rare one, uh, Oolong as a bat. Uh, this one was highly sought after uh, just a couple years ago, and they don't pop up often, and I helped some people find some and acquire some, and then uh, recently I actually acquired a pink one, uh, through Yahoo Auctions. So this uh, orange one will be for sale.
Kakarot, how do you like my purple pants? Sorry, my Vegeta impression is not uh, the best. Ooh. Got some that are glow in the dark too. It's really hard to focus on them with all the other colors in the background. Uh, Videl with a towel. I believe I have this one too, so that will be up for sale as well. Ooh, just found another glow in the dark. Glow in the dark raccoon. That's a nice one. Don't remember if I have that one. Okay, I'm gonna. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna sort through these. There's just too many. I, if, I, if I sat here and just picked them out individually, this would be like a three hour video. So yeah, I'm gonna sort through these. We'll talk about the coolest ones and then talk about maybe how much value is here. I'll showcase some that I, I really like and some really cool ones that will be for sale. So stay tuned. Three hours later. This is all the stuff that is just like standard Keshi. There's some semi-rare pieces in here, but like, look, look at this. All this is gonna be for sale. But it's, there's just so much of this. There's so much of this. There's no way I could I could even like set all these guys up and talk about all of these guys. I mean, just, just look how much. You're going back in the bag. Back in the bag, guys, sorry, sorry. Bag party. As far as the armored ones go, uh, there's a couple pairs in here that match up. So far, I haven't really found the figures that went with them. I think that these were just included as kind of extras. So I will have to add these to my little collection of loose armor bits and hopefully that I can complete figures further down the line. Uh, but you know, I'll have to go back through this bag. I was trying to go through the bag fairly quickly so that I could finish this video. But we did end up with a few uh, standard cross-up figures that are very nice and uh, will be for sale because I don't really need these guys. I already have all of them. And uh, still debating on the Goku here. I need to clean them up a bit. But uh, yeah, that was all the armored figures we had in that lot. There goes an ambulance. It's the transmission! I also ended up with just these three of the uh, metal die-cast minifigures, which I already own. I'm fairly sure I have this Goku. It's a really nice one, though. It's one that I could never find, and then for some reason this year, I found like four of them all in the same color. And uh, I often find the Goten and Trunks down here. Wait, is that, is that Trunks? Is that Trunks or Goten? I mean, he's wearing, wearing Goten's clothes? Wait, but this is Goten. Anyway, I find these a lot. So, these are for sale. Chunky monkey. And here's the little painted lot I ended up with, Majin Buu Saga, which is my least favorite era of Dragon Ball, at least the original Dragon Ball is the Majin Buu stuff. Not that I hate it, it's just, I don't really collect it and uh, it was, I kind of dropped out of watching it as a teenager when that aired. So I didn't get around to watching all of the Majin Buu arc until uh, just a couple years ago. So anyway, I think it's kind of, I think it's too long, honestly. Anyhow, it's a cool little Super Saiyan 3 Goku here. I hate Super Saiyan 3 Goku though, so another reason why I don't like Majin Buu Saga. But this Vegeta, I kind of dig. I mean, purple pants Vegeta, you can't go wrong with that. I may keep this for my collection. Although, if you're interested in buying this little group lot, let me know. I'd kind of be sad to leave Vegeta out. No, please keep me here. Keep me as far away from that banana-haired Kakarot and that pink bubblegum bastard Boo! E. I like you, you're okay. As far as Broly goes, we got this little green buff Broly here. We got a couple of yellow ones. Again, I'm not sure if these are colors that Dimitri needs. I need to double check after I make this video. But these are really nice, clean Broly figures, and Broly Keshi usually does sell for a bit more than some of the other ones. And I also got this jumbo size Broly. I'm not sure if he has that one. This is, anyway, this is pretty big, like, compare it to the other ones. And it's a, a two-parter. I actually got a bunch of these uh, segmented two-parter uh, Dragon Ball Keshi of other characters too, so. But I'm, I'm only gonna be showing this one in the video. And I was, I was using uh, this Hildegarn, uh, sorry, not Hildegarn, yeah, Hildegarn. And I was using this uh, Hildegarn to prop up the Broly because he wouldn't stand very well. 
and uh, when I opened the bag, he was missing his arm, his legs, his tail, and I, I found all the pieces, and I was like, yes, this is going to be a complete one, because this one's kind of hard to find, and unfortunately, from what I could see anyway, he is missing his left arm, so sadly, I cannot complete Hir Hirudagarn. Hiru, hi, Hiru, Hir, Hiru de Garn. Hiru de Garn. Hiru, Hiru de Garn. Hiru de Garn? Hildegarn. Hildegarn. Hiru de Garn. Hiru de Garn. Um. Hiru de Garn. Uh, so these were actually a couple figures that I saw in the bag that I was like, oh, that'll make partially worth it as long as they have their wings. Uh, these are uh, rarer, smaller, cell keshi. But unfortunately, even though there are two of them and they're very nice and clean, they are both missing wings. Although they do have their butt penises. Here's another nice little set of Super Saiyan 3 banana haired babies. Uh, we have this amazing Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And just look at that hair. That's like a super mullet right there. It's like a, it's like a, what is, just, just look at it. Just, just look at it. Uh, over here we've got two different Gotenks. You know, Gotenks, I think he wears the banana hair a little bit better. I think it's just his size. You know, he kind of has that Sonic the Hedgehog look. These are cool little Keshi and uh, different poses too. And they've also, yeah, the old, again, these, these come out separate pieces. <laughs> And we've also got a little ghost. Gotenks ghost. I'm a ghost. This is a really nice one. I was hoping there'd be more of these in there too. Uh, this is a line of semi-articulated figures. So it's all one sculpt and uh, the arm is actually removable. And that means it is articulated. So you can, you can move it down if you want him to uh, look like he's punching himself in the dick. <laughs> or uh, you put it up, he's like, you can't see me. I'm blocking my face. Or you can just put it here. I think where it's supposed to go. And he looks like he's doing a little dance. Cha, cha, cha. Got a really nice pair of Goku and Vegeta doing the fusion dance. Fusion. Ha! We also have some very lovely, super clean examples of Keshi still connected at the sprues. Here we have some Dragon Ball GT, uh, Kame Senen, Master Roshi, with his cool shades and his summertime clothing. Wait, he's always wearing summertime clothing. And uh, Slick Harry Yamcha. Just, just look at that ponytail. And check this out. This is actually pretty cool. So we got Marin. We've got 18 with her mom haircut. And we have Krillin with his head of hair which nobody likes, but this is still kind of cool and he's got a hat and they're all connected. That's kind of cute. And finally, we've got an uncut dead Vegeta with his angel halo and the little connecty piece that goes in the back of his head so that his halo is above his head. He's he's putting on one of the uh, Potohara earrings uh, for the fusion, but it looks like, if you look at it from like here, it looks like he's talking on a cell phone or something. Hello! Yes, this is Vegeta, Prince of all Saiyans! No, you have the wrong number! Fuck you! Okay, here are some of the standard size sculpts that I, uh, I like a lot and are pretty rare. We'll start with this Krillin here. This Krillin is not as rare as some of the other ones, but I think this is my all-time favorite Krillin Keshi. He's just got the jacket. He's got the awesome hat that says his name on it. Kuliling with an L. Yeah, it's just a nice sculpt. You got the Kame on the back. This is definitely one of my favorite sculpts. I'm not sure if I have it in flesh color. I know I have it in blue. I'm trying to actually switch all my non-flesh color figures out and try to only collect flesh, but I don't know if that's gonna happen or not. I'm only gonna collect flesh. Man, that sounds weird. You're only gonna collect flesh? What? All right, up uh, next we have this amazing post boy Piccolo Keshi. Uh, I found a couple of these in the past and they are super rad. 
and it's him with the backwards cap post boy shirt from the uh, episode where he learns how to drive. Unfortunately, his face is slightly stained by another Keshi, but that is possibly removable. I'm not sure if I'm gonna, I, I mean, I've already got this one. I can't remember if I've got it in orange or green, but I'm really trying to get this one in the flesh color. But if this is something you're interested in, this will probably be for sale. And this is also a perfect one to custom paint because uh, this would look really cool custom painted. I'm not really for painting Keshi, but sometimes I think about it. Up next, we got the uh, Oolong as a bat that I mentioned earlier, so I'm not going to talk any more about this one. Fly away, sir. And we've got Mummy Guy. Mummy Guy! I don't see this Keshi sculpt very often, um, so yeah, this is a rare one. And it's a really nice, chunky one, too. like it, especially like it in this yellow color. And Cell Jr. Um, he's actually a harder one to find. And he's in flesh. I like it. Up next, we got these micro sized ones. Uh, the first one here is. An old Epoch one. I believe this may be from the Muscle Tower set. I'm not entirely sure. I know that they made little. Uh, little like uh, omake style sets and things. And uh, I know this is from one of those sets, but I'm just not entirely sure which one it is. I don't own Muscle Tower and I don't own much of the original Epoch uh, sets uh, that came with Keshi like this. So I do have some, but um, none from this particular series. And this is a really cool one. Never owned this Goku before. Just very strange sculpt. His head looks like it's flat. Very, very weird. I love it. Up next, we've got a little trio. We've got Pan and Pan and this robot, which at first I thought it was Giru, but it's not Giru. It's one of the just random Atoriyama, Atoriyama. It's just one of the other robots from the series and it's really cool. I've never seen this one before. I don't know if this guy has a name. There's too many goddamn characters in Dragon Ball. I had to get a little bit closer to these guys because they're so tiny. Another little set of micro-sized uh, Dragon Ball Z Keshi, and just to show you how small they are, here is just a standard Dragon Ball Z Raditz Keshi next to them, and they are yeah, they're basically half-sized. I am collecting these, and it's it's great. You can get like a, a standard capsule, Geshapon capsule, and you can just fill it up with these, and it looks awesome. The coolest one in here to me is this Super Saiyan Goku. This is a sculpt that I did not have. And this gray color is pretty rare. So I was really excited that this one was in there. I actually was watching one of these on Yahoo Auctions and uh, almost placed a bid. So glad I didn't because I got it without having to bid. Yay. You've also got some of the movie androids in here, which are really cool. I don't think I have these guys. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've got doubles of these. These are really awesome ones. We got Cooler, Future Trunks, Super Saiyan Future Trunks, and uh, Goku. So yeah, these are really rad. I'll post a lot of doubles for sale in little group lots. These are nice. Very clean too. All right, guys. This is the second to last little lot here. The next lot I'm going to show is amazing and uh, saved it for last for a reason. But here we have a little group of four glow-in-the-dark Dragon Ball Z Keshi, which are awesome. Glow-in-the-dark are super rare, and uh, I do have a nice little collection of them, but I'm pretty sure I am missing a couple of these guys. Uh, Piccolo's got something on his nose. I'm gonna try to clean that off of it. Super cool. Uh, this is definitely the best one of this little lot here. A kind of jade-colored glow-in-the-dark raccoon, um, which I can't remember if I have this one or not. I'll have to double check, because it's really awesome. It would be amazing to have an entire set of the Ginyu Force in their pose. I'm fairly sure I have Captain Ginyu, and I know I have Captain Ginyu as a frog, so this may be added to my collection, I'm not sure. Then we've got the uh, the lovely couple themselves. We've got Team Gohan and Videl. Yeah, it's a nice little pair there. Fairly sure I have these two, so these will probably be for sale as well. All right, guys, here comes the final lots. Get ready for it. So remember when I told you that clear Dragon Ball Keshi was fairly rare? And uh, it sells for a bit more than the standard stuff. 
Well, yeah, it does. So I was hoping there would be a few in there. I did not know there would be this many. This is amazing. Usually a bag of uh, clear keshi like this would be almost the same price that I paid for that entire lot. So that was already well worth the price to me. So uh, let me get some of these taken out because I'm going to talk about a few of these in particular that I thought were interesting. And man, I kind of want to go buy some gummy bears now. It's making me hungry. All right, so I, I picked out two little lots that I wanted to talk about specifically from all of these clear keshi. And here's the first slot here. And it's just these three. These are all N Namek Saga, Frieza Saga, whatever you want to call it, era figures. And the first one here is Vegeta holding a Dragon Ball. It's really nice. And it's really hard to get these guys photographed. It's just because of the uh, nature of their color and the fact that they're translucent but I think you guys can see the sculpt on that pretty well and of course these are all released as regular versions as well but these clear versions are way more awesome so you got Vegeta up next you've got this really unique looking Captain Ginyu I do not know if this was a figure that was originally yellow and it just somehow got stained with purple whatever the case is it looks really cool it just reminds me of some kind of like Haribo like special uh, gummy snack and I really want to eat it. Just look how delicious that looks. It's definitely got to be like musket and grape flavor. Mmm, yum. Don't you think about it. And finally in this first slot here we have what I thought was Goku and when I got closer and I looked at his face you can see he's wearing a scouter. So this is actually Captain Ginyu in Goku's body, which is a very, very hard to find figure, especially in clear. So I was so excited to find this. And guess what? There was another one. There was another one. So I've got two of these guys. So one of these will be for sale. Uh, it'll be a little bit pricey compared to the others, but man, that was a really cool find. And for the final little lot here, another set of fairly rare sculpts, but as, again, in clear, even more rare. And we have Goku's mother, I think. Gine, Goku's mother, wife of Bardock, but it's, she's more just kind of like his teammate in the original TV special. But yeah, got her. And then we got their other Saiyan compatriots, uh, Fatso and Baldi. I don't know the real names. I also got another Guinea. I'll be for sale! Here are all the other ones I'm not gonna go over. There's some amazing stuff in here too. So, some doubles as well. Man, just like candy. I wanna eat it all. <laughs> All in all, I'm very happy with how this bag junk lot turned out. There were a few things that I was expecting to see in here that turned out to be bust, but you know, that's how that's what happens. You gamble when you buy a big bag like this. But overall, this was some really great stuff. Uh, definitely will fill in some gaps in my collection. And I have my work cut out for me taking photographs of all of the other ones that I'm not keeping to post for sale. So uh, I will be posting those hopefully later this week. If anything caught your eye that you'd be interested in buying, just send me a DM on Instagram. Yeah, that's a lot of rubber. 